Hello and welcome to Zephyr's PSM Training Echo Tutorial. In Chapter 3, we'll discuss OmniSense Software Live Mode Setup. This chapter will provide an introduction to displaying subjects, profile explanation, adding hardware, assigning hardware to subjects, creating teams, and displaying live. In this chapter, we're going to go over how to add subjects to OmniSense, how to add the bioharness to OmniSense, how to create teams, as well as deploying those teams to be able to view their data in live mode. Before we get started, we want to make sure we have our bioharness, our charging cradle, our gateway antenna, and our strap. Go ahead and plug in the gateway to the computer via USB and once the drivers have loaded you should notice a green blinking light. Go ahead and plug in the charger as well for the bio harness. Once you've done that you can go ahead and fire up the software. Keep in mind if you have any questions and you need a quick reference guide the manual is in the upper right hand corner also as this question mark button. Go ahead and find Echo System in here and you'll see the table of contents with step-by-step -step for troubleshooting issues in our OmniSense Live software. Also you want to make sure that in preferences under general settings the radio network type is set to Echo. Now let's start adding subjects. First go into setup mode and then click new subject. Here we can add all data parameters such as age, sex, height, and weight along with fitness level. If you've already done a fitness test, you can upload your fitness scores into the database or you can manually type in your heart rate zones. Once you've done that, we can go ahead and start adding hardware. Next, go to the hardware tab. Make sure your bio harness is plugged in to the charging cradle and click add slash edit. Follow the prompt connection to PC and click next. From here the software will detect the device and then we can name it whatever we want. Once you've added the amount of devices go ahead and close the hardware setup wizard. Next step is to assign the bio harness to the appropriate subject. To do this we must go to assign subject, you click on the device in which you would like to assign and then you click assign. Keep in mind you want to make sure underneath the garment column it's set as either your bio harness 3 side strap or if you're using a compression shirt you want to have it set on BH3 front. Next, we go to the Team tab to create our team. To create a team, click on New Team and type in your team name and click OK. Once you've done that, you can go to the box with the personnel, highlight the subject, and add them to the team in which you desire. Next, we go to the Deployment tab. From here, we highlight the tab in which you would like to deploy your subjects. We highlight the team, and then we click the arrow button to transfer them over to tab A. Once we've done that, we can go to Live Mode. 
In order to go to live mode, scroll to the top left corner where you see the wireless symbol, also called live mode. From here we should see a green, orange, and red light blinking on the gateway. That shows that it's searching for a signal. Once you see the gray shaded in box around the subject's name, that's how you know we have a connection, as well as the blue blinking light on the bioharness. Now we are ready to put the device on the strap and wear the strap and start collecting data.